see for yourself. Come see my mama and Uganda. The Environment and Climate Change Awareness Marathon and Walkathon that took place today at the Uganda Museum was aimed at sensitizing the community about effects that come along with climate change. The European Union Ambassador to Uganda, His Excellency Jan Sadiq, who came riding on a bicycle, advised citizens to tell political leaders to build bicycle lines. He said climate change needs a global response through collective action. I decided why don't I bicycle instead and I hope you agree it's also a very climate friendly, climate smart way of transporting yourself. We should do more of that I think but we need a little bit more of bicycle lanes. You have to tell your local politicians to, to build bicycle lanes I think. As we gather here today we witness the power of collective action. Climate change knows no borders and it requires obviously a global response. The ambassador noted that the European Union will be supporting the access to climate funding, a move he believes to create impact. He applauded Uganda for being one of the biggest producers of renewable energy sources. We will be facilitating the access to climate funding to commercial banks in Uganda for their lending to green, small and medium-sized enterprises. So perhaps, I don't know, for some of you here, for the, for the companies and organizations, this is something to keep an eye out for. I want to really commend Uganda and the Ugandans for, because you are one of the greenest uh, producers of electricity with I think some 90% of your electric grid coming from renewable energy sources, mainly hydropower. Let us continue to raise awareness together to innovate and collaborate for it's only through our collective actions and efforts that we can secure a planet that thrives for generations to come. Rosie Agoy, the Secretary General for Uganda National Commission for the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, reported that the organization is introducing climate change education, which will introduce the, imp which will introduce the impacts of climate change to the people right away from school level. UNESCO is also now introducing climate change education, so that right from school we have people who are aware about the impact of climate change. And therefore, as a child, you grow up knowing you don't litter, you don't cut down trees, you plant as many trees as possible, you harvest rainwater, you can use irrigation, and all these things that help us curb down the effects of climate change. Following the masses that flooded in Namgongo for Mother's Day celebration, a lot of waste has been disposed and Rosia Goy suggests that government should set aside a bylaw to regulate the use of polythene bags and plastic bottles during such huge events. This morning I was coming through uh, here past Namgongo and I said now we need some bylaw of sorts. Why can't we have a bylaw and say no cavera? Third June, because the place is terribly littered. And where is all this litter going? Some will remain there, others will be collected and dumped in a place that is not really favorable. While addressing at the function, Bismarck Mumpaire, the team lead Africa Tourism and Environment Initiatives, called upon journalists to embark on positive stories that will help in sustaining the community on climate change. Journalists, let us have a purposeful kind of reporting and make sure that as humans we are giving back to humanity. Environment and climate change is something that we need to consider in the air spaces. We cannot have negativity flooding the first front pages and the headlines all the time. We need to bring out positivity in everything that we do and we need to encourage every member and to let everyone know that they have the ability to send a message in a certain way. The Marathon and Green Expo attracted many partners among who were Care International Uganda, a women organization, which is introducing recycling methods that will motivate people to practice them. Mary Maslett Awori emphasized that plastics cannot be completely eradicated, which is why they are introducing the innovation of recycling them. We work in partnership with the private sectors. We, are, we have had many engagements with the, with the different private sectors, among them is Mkwano, uh, even uh, Coca-Cola, to see to it on how we can see, uh, reduce this. But the solution we have at hand is to see how we can now 
bring this innovation of recycling the plastics because we know that we can't do uh, without it we need them so but then what do we do so it is the innovation that care is bringing on board to see that we continue uh, recycling the plastic waste that we generate <laughs>